What is up guys and you welcome back to another installation of RUG TV where I bring to you the craziest of happenings all over football and as I said in the last video I am just going to be doing um, a rundown of uh, or rather just going to be looking at my prediction in the last video and seeing how accurate I was for today's games starting off with the first one Chelsea versus West Brom um, I predicted a 3 new Chelsea I can remember that very well. Pretty the three new Chelsea and oh, we we saw goals, guys. We we saw goals and um, West Brom currently 19 on um, the the Premier League table. They're literally fighting to stay in the Premier League. They aren't guaranteed um, Premier League football for next season as it stands. They're still fighting for points. They have gone to Stamford Bridge and. They have absolutely slapped Chelsea. They beat Chelsea 5 2. 5 2 at Stamford Bridge. West Brom, I, I, like, let's listen to it very well. Like West Brom, yeah, they've gone from um, super lame to wow. They destroyed, oh my god. Of course, um, Chelsea. Yeah, I've been mean, um, the favorites to win the game. Started the game off very, very strong with Christian Pulis scoring his first goal under Thomas Tuchel. And then minutes later, Thiago Silva just coming back into the squad receives a red card. His first red card in eight years. What, what a player. And that is where things just started going down here for Chelsea. It went from 1-0 to, uh, sorry, 1-1 to 2-1. Um, they actually scored the first goal, dying minutes. They scored the first goal in um, the, the, the beginning of um, extra time. And scored four minutes later to end um, the first half 2-1. And second half continues to... Um, West Brom, they continue with the onslaught, 4-1, four, four on one. Chelsea managed to grab one back from um, Mason Mount, and then West Brom just scoring another one, it was an absolute beauty, West Brom, wow, they really, really, they shocked me, I am actually very, very surprised, a little bit happy, because a lot of Chelsea fans have been pissing me off lately, so, um, ha ha ha, to my Chelsea fans, congratulations West Brom, hopefully they can um, keep this up for the next games remaining, and maybe we could see them next season in the Champions, rather, sorry, I say Champions League, in the Premier League, to, um, leave in the comment section below if you think West Brom is going to be in um, the Premier League next season. Moving on now to the second game, Leeds United versus Sheffield United. As I predicted, Leeds United win. I predicted a 2 0 or a 3 1. There was a 1 and uh, there was a 2, but um, in the same um, place. As Leeds United will grab a 2 1 victory over Sheffield United. Harrison's goal in the first half and an on goal in the second half. Um, very, very unfortunate from, uh, for Sheffield. Sheffield, very, very good performance from Marcelo Bielsa's side. They have been they've been mad this season. They've been absolutely good. Of all um the teams that have gotten promoted in the Premier League between them, West Brom and Fulham, they've been um the best so far. Sheffield, better luck next time, better luck next season because they are definitely not gonna be here next season. And then moving on now to the next game that I predicted would be my favorite game to watch today, be Manchester City versus Leicester City. And of course, it did not disappoint, but I predicted a Leicester win but instead I got something else Manchester City would get the job done as they defeated Leicester City 2-0 a very 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 good game Leicester for me they are a very very underrated club they um they they've shown that they can hang with the big dogs and they they do know what they are doing in the prem hopefully they are consistent enough to make it through to um the Champions League last season 
season we saw how um, well they did and now then they fumbled um, at the dying minutes and weren't able to make it to the Champions League but hopefully we see them in the Champions League and um, let they hopefully they just retain that um, top three spot but yeah they lost to Manchester City 2-0 a goal from Mendy and Gabriel Jesus to seal the deal for Manchester City the Manchester City, they, they've won the title, they, they've been unstoppable all season, they started the season very dry and now they're ending it in fantastic fashion, very, very beautiful um, season they've been having so far, Pep Guardiola um, having another spell at Manchester City and many more to come for them, so yeah, Manchester City with the win and another of my prediction gone wrong. And another game that I predicted came in the form of Arsenal versus Liverpool and I predicted a 1-1 draw or a 2-1 Arsenal and I got something else entirely. <laughs> I got a 3-0 Liverpool. I got a 3-0 Liverpool. Now all the Liverpool fans in my DMs will start disturbing me. Yay. Uh, God. 3-0 Liverpool. Beautiful, beautiful game all around. Liverpool were absolutely good. Arsenal non-existent. They they didn't show any sign of life from the first to the second half. Diego Jota coming off the bench in the second half and getting a beautiful header from an Alexander Arano's um, cross. Very beautiful cross. Then Mo Salah following up and um, joining in the goal first and taking one for himself. And then Diego Jota again scoring a second goal. Just coming off the bench like that man has been one of the best signings that uh, they they made in the transfer beautiful beautiful signing from Wolves and a beautiful beautiful win for them they go up to um the fifth position now in the Premier League <laughs> good for them they're coming back to come, could there be Europa or Champions League um hopes for Liverpool let's see let's see so um now basically I'm just gonna give predictions again for Sunday's games now I have none I didn't get any of um, the last predictions so hopefully hopefully I do get at least one yeah, let's 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 cut some slacks yeah hopefully I do get one and so the first game that kicks off on Sunday in the Premier League comes in the form of Southampton versus Burnley now there's two sides very very stubborn <laughs> very very stubborn especially Burnley they are very very um stubborn side I am I'm actually leaning on Southampton for this one but it's a Premier League as we've seen it's just an unpredictable league we saw that with Chelsea so let's not underestimate the big um, teams now in all this um lot in all this lineup so um Southampton versus Burnley what do you guys think I don't really know what that how that game is going to unfold you guys should leave that in the comment section on Southampton Burnley what do you feel the score line should be? and then the second game coming in the form of Newcastle versus Tottenham now um Spurs looking for Europe and Newcastle trying to avoid a drop now um both sides are uh, they're very very shaky and inconsistent well I've spoken about this before Tottenham under Marino has been it's been good and at the same time very bad they are lacking in consistency and they keep on conceding a lot of goals but um I'm actually confident about this one so I'm going for a Tottenham win a Tottenham win um let's see that's three Let's go. Let's 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 just straight out there. Three, three, one, three, one. Another three, one. Nine. My predictions. Oh God. Hopefully this one comes through. Three, one. Tottenham Hotspurs. And then um the next game coming up is um, Fulham versus Aston Villa. I'm going for Villa in this case. Now they've been they've been very very solid this season. Very very good in a play. Ah, uh, Fulham. They they they. They've been just, they've been Fulham, they've, they've been Fulham and um, I don't really know about them but I'm going with a 4, a 4-0 four Aston Villa, very very confident about this one, 4-0 Aston Villa so let's see if they can get this job. 
And then the last of Sunday's game come in the form of Manchester United versus Brighton. Now, mind you, they've been in good shape, though they lost to Leicester City in the FA Cup. Um, but regardless of that, they've been actually very, very solid. They've been good in the Europa League. They've been good um, sometimes in the, the Prem when they have their good time. They have their good time. And Brighton, uh, inconsistency again, one of those clubs that... Um, I deal with some inconsistency in their play, so I'm going very, very confident with this one. A man, you win. Brighton will score. They, they do score goals. Brighton, they do score goals. So I'm going with um, a man, you win. Yeah, man, you win. Two one. I'm not really going all out there for man, you, but let's let's take it like that. Two one, Manchester. United now that's my prediction hopefully 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 I get something hopefully I get one or two or three or maybe I get all hopefully but you guys should leave in the comment section Southampton and Burnley which you feel as going to win and that is where we draw the curtains in today's video if you have enjoyed this video please do uh, slap a like on it subscribe to the channel if you are new you can follow us on ig at iug underscore tv for more of the latest transfers and news going around the world and as always do have a wonderful evening enjoy yourselves and goodbye